are getting ready for Father's Day, so all dudes are on the set right now, Jason Parkin, because we have some manly things to talk about. We do. We need some cigars and beer for this segment. <laughs> we need some smoking zing this zing room zing right zing now. Zing. Anyway, we do have uh, Adam Willoughby and uh, Andrew Willoughby and Adam Tweedy joining us. They are from Fontenelle Supply Company as we are getting set for Father's Day by letting you know about Mancraft, uh, which is going to be Thursday. This is an event I regret to say I missed last year, and I, I can't wait uh, to, to make it this year. It's at 5 one five, and, and if you would tell us uh, the hours and, and what we're going to see there. Yeah, it'll be on Thursday, um, three to nine. Um, it's um, just a few guys around town, um, makers, artisans that um, basically uh, specialize in like old trade skills or just mainly things that um, you don't see every day in a de uh, department store. Just right. Um, and Adam, these are all guys that are doing this, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, traditionally, like the small, like homemade or home start artisan movement has been sort of a, a female thing, or it's been thought of as a female thing. Mm -hmm. So it's really great that we have in Des Moines a good community of, of guys that are uh, setting out on their own and making things, and um, either doing this part time or going all in full time. All right, so what do we uh, have to show off here this morning? These are our vintage uh, refurbished axes. And Jason, you said you just heard about this. Yeah, I, I, I'd heard about a company that, that did this, and, and, and uh, you have a, a kind of a unique way of handling this. Uh, the, these are actually old axe heads, these right? Are, yeah, these are the ones that I have in front of me here are mid -cent mid 20th century, so these are 50s and 60s. Okay. Uh, the one over there is from the 30s. Um, yeah. Basically, we, we find them in a really rusty, beat up state, and we take the rust off. And here, take the cover off so we can see what yeah, they look sure. like here. And the obvious question is how do you find them? Where do you find them? Well, you can go to any like local antique shop, and a lot of times they'll have them there. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, eBay is really good okay. to, to find them. Um, Any more people who know about us are just contacting us asking them to get them out of their garage. Oh, I see. And what are you guys paying for axe heads like this? These go, uh, a complete restored axe goes for 160. Okay. Um, the axe heads vary. It depends on condition, um, age, uh, rareness. Now, are these functional axe heads or axes or are these mainly for show? Absolutely. These are all, these are all restored with the intent to be used. So they're all brought up to a, a working cutting edge. Um, they're hung correctly on properly grained handles. So they're going to function um, like the best axe that you can get on the market, but they also look really cool. Is there mm -hmm. anything special about these axes that were made in the, the 50s, 60s, 30s uh, as compared to what you would buy at a big box store now? Sure, absolutely. Uh, a lot of the axes that you get now are manufactured overseas in the fastest, cheapest way possible. Okay. Uh, and that leads to uh, a, a lower quality product in so far as like the uh, integrity of the steel. The steel is a lower quality, lower grade. Uh, these vintage American axes um, are sort of the best quality steel that you could get in the day, and I think even yet today, the, the carbon content and everything that goes into making it the way that they used to still stands as some of the best manufacturing today. And the wood, is the wood better as well, of the, the handle? The wood, it, it's shape that you look for in the wood, the way it feels in your hand. The, mm -hmm. These vintage handles are a lot slimmer than what you'd find today. They fit better with the head, they look cleaner with the head, and it also feels better in your hand. Okay, and we have lots of leather goods over. I can't tell you how good it smells. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome. So uh, obviously a mug with a nice uh, leather yep. handle on mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mason jar, uh, belts, these are some of the things you see. And I think people, uh, viewers of the show are familiar with Market Day. This mm -hmm. particular one just uh, has a lot of things for men. Sure. Uh, with well, Father's Day being so close. Absolutely, yeah. We have wallets, and uh, this is obviously some sort of uh, a wallet then. Yeah, yeah, we have, um, we're starting doing more of a uh, women's line, uh, which like the last Market Day we went to, um, there was a, quite a, um, uh, interest in that as well, but uh, yeah, everything from you know dog collars, mm -hmm. mugs, belts, um, wallets. Uh, basically, we're trying to provide um, an alternative to um, like a fast and dirty wallet that you would pick up Box anywhere doors. else. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right. something that you. So, can what is a wallet a like time. that? It looks like it has a place for cards and things in that. What, what sure. does something like that go for? Uh, these are around fifty dollars, mm -hmm. but those look like they're, they're going to last you a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what the idea is that um, we make leather goods that uh, potentially you could 
you know, hand down to your son. Mm -hmm. Like, um, it's not going to wear out anytime soon, that's for sure. Right. Well, it, this is all coming up uh, again on Thursday, mm -hmm. and this is at uh, 515, which is at 7700 University Avenue. If you've never been there, go for the beer, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't get you here with this stuff, uh, they have some good uh, local brews there and, uh, and some great uh, uh, man-related crafts coming up on Thursday as well. All right, you guys going to be there the whole time? Absolutely. Yep. All right, Start three to, to nine. Yep. Three to nine, all guys with products for guys all set for Father's Day. So ladies, if you're looking to buy dad something or maybe your husband something for, for your kids, this would be the place to go for this sure. Yeah, yeah, great stuff here. Hint, Thanks, hint, guys. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> so he's truly over there. I'm afraid she'd use the axe on me. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks so much. Yeah, it is you. nine minutes.